If you are in grade 11 and doing CAT, well, this is a video walkthrough of the first question of the CAT Paper 1 exemplar from November 2020. And this is from the Department of Education for the Eastern Cape. And so we can look at the word question first. So the first question is traditionally the word processing question. So let's have a look. They want us to open up this file called One Wild Coast. And I've got it open already over here. So there we go. So let's look at what they want us to do. First of all, they say a cover page has been created. Thank you very much. And that we must edit this, this document as follows. We must format the picture on the cover page so that the width and the height is five centimeters. So both the width and the height must be five centimeters. So let's go have a look. So we go look over here and is there a picture? Oh, there's the picture. So we're going to click on the picture. And when we click on the picture, we get these picture format options on the side here. So when I click over here, we can see, oh, there are the height and the width. Now you might be very tempted to, oh, well, we'll just make them five and five. And if I do that, and I go, okay, but change this to five as well. Now, if you do that, you'll notice that the moment I click away, uh, they, they change. It's because the aspect ratio of that picture is locked, which means it keeps it in proportion. We want to make it so that it's always five wide and five across, or five up, sorry. And so we're going to click on this little part over here that will adjust the size layout so we can get more options. And so we see all the options. And the key thing here is to first unlock the aspect ratio. Once you've done that, then you can change the, the, the height or the width and keep the other property the exact same. So it will distort it slightly, but at least the aspect ratio is not locked. So if I do that now and click OK, you'll see the picture stretched a little bit, but it's 5 by 5. So that's the key little tip there. You must unlock the aspect ratio first. Then let's look at the next one. So they want us to set the position of the picture to middle center of the cover page middle center now what does that mean i don't know i'm going to click on the picture and we've got lots of options over here like, oh there's a position there let's see middle center so there that looks like middle oh that looks like middle center so i'm going to click on that and see what it does and where did the picture go oh there we go middle center do you see how we went just to the position see all these picture tools middle center so there we go so it's positioned to the middle center so there we go and then we're going to go ask click the next question middle center insert your name and surname in the author control of the cover page so let's go look where is the author control let's go look report bar ah there's the author control so you must put your name and surname so you must put your name and surname no no not actually that text you must actually put your uh, mr long i'm gonna put my name my first name is mr yes that is it okay so there we go. So there we put the author in. Fantastic. Uh, there we go. And now let's go over look at the next question. Just a, going back to that previous question, if they wanted us to actually insert the name, they could have maybe asked us to, rem they might have wanted us to actually remove that report bar part. It doesn't really matter. I don't, they don't specify it. But if you do take the report bar out, you'll notice that if you go here to the properties and you go to info, You'll see that it says there Mr. Long now is one of the uh, people that are involved with authoring this document. So let's go back to that first little one. The next one, 1.2. Insert a border left page number. So we want the page number to not be at the top or the bottom, but the left to the Beyonce, to the left, to the left. And make sure that zero does not appear on the page. Now, now what does that mean to the left, to the Beyonce? So we want to insert a page number. So I'm going to go insert and see what page number options they give me. So we don't want the top, we don't want the bottom, Ooh, page margins, maybe it means this, so maybe it means something to do with the left, so we're going to put it on the left side, so I'm going to click on the left side, um, and you'll notice that there's nothing here on the cover page, but if I go to, oh, there we go, there's a page number on the left, now they said make sure that there's no uh, zero, if, they, if there was something like that, you might need to say different first page, something like that, um, or you can come to the properties of the page number. And you can go format the page numbers and edit like starting at zero or something like that. You can do things like that if you want. Um, but at the moment, it looks like we've inserted it and there's no page zero on the front page. So there we go. So there we go. All done. So there we go. That is the 1.2. 1.3, use a word processing feature to move the heading Wild Coast Region Eastern Cape to, a, to the next page. Okay, so that's a page break. So this must be on a brand new page. So we're going to insert a page break. So you can insert a page break over there, or you can press, um, I think it's Alt-Enter. Um, you can also go to, I think it's uh, under Design. 
uh, not design, sorry, layouts. I think it's layouts. There we go. You've got your breaks over here. So we can insert a page break here as well. So you can do that. And if I just click on this little thing over here, I want to show you this little, this little thing that's hard seek here. We'll show hard. Sorry. If I click on that, you can see that we've inserted a page break that we didn't just press enter, 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 enter. Cause that, that won't get you the marks. You must make sure that you put in a page break. So there we go. It's on a brand new page. Fantastic. That's 1.3 done. 1.4, the heading that we've just moved must be changed as follows. We must create a new style for it. Ah, okay. So the last thing is they've, what, they've asked me to create a new style on a particular piece of text, which is nice. If they ever ask you to create just a style and then the next question is that you must apply to text, the, the key is where if, whenever you create a style, it'll apply that style to wherever you are currently in the Word document. So that's why it's very good to make sure that you select the text that you want to change first. If they haven't specified that, then make sure you go to a place where nothing is selected um, right at the bottom or something like that where you can insert the the new style so we want to select that text yes create a new style called eastern cape coast so let's do that first so we're going to come here and go to new style so here's where our styles are and we can just click on this little option over here and i'm sure we'll get option to create a style and we're going to click on that okay so first of all what do they ask they ask for a style called eastern cape coasts based on heading one style so let's see what that means so it's a style so we're going to call it uh, eastern cape coast is that what they wanted it is that the name eastern cape coasts coasts okay and we're going to modify the style because we want to base it off of a heading one style so we're going to base it off of heading one so there's the first little tick there okay center the new style horizontally we must center it horizontally so let's go to the properties center it horizontally horizontally means across that's the horizon so that means there we want to center it horizontally so let's click on that to center horizontally they want the font color to be red so let's go change we've got there's the font color so we're going to change that to a red and then what else do they want? And then we must apply it to the heading, which we've selected the heading. So it has been applied already. So that's great. So let's go back to the Word document. And we're going to just move this up a bit and go, OK. Boom. And you'll see it's applied to that particular heading. If you had done it somewhere else and you still needed to apply, you could have just selected the text. And then your Eastern Cape would appear. Yeah, you could click on that to apply it as well. So there we go. So we have done those things. We've made a style. We've given our name, made it horizontal, made it red, and applied it. There we go. So there we go. There's all the marks. Then insert a modern style automatic table of contents to the space provided. A modern style automatic table of contents. So let's go up the table of contents, normally up at the top here. Oh, there's the table of contents. We're going to insert a modern style. Now, this is to do with the references. So I'm going to click on references. There's my table of contents. Let's go. Um, I don't see the word modern anywhere. So let's go to custom table of contents. So I'm going to click on custom. And there we go. There's a modern version. There would have been lots of different options. Maybe it was looked like this, but you would have gotten selected modern. Um, so we want to select those. Now, if they ever ask you to add particular like levels of, of headings to the, then you click on here on the options and you go add them. You can see that Eastern Cape Coast, because we've made it has already been applied as one. They don't specify which ones we must include, but um, I've gone ahead and looked at the memo and they said they actually want that to be included. So it is a bit tricky, but they have done that. So we can go and look there, there are the different headings and you can go and add different ones to, to be included in your table of contents. That means anything that's got that heading style, will be in the table of contents at that particular level, a level one or a two or so. So let's go. That's, is that all they want? They just want a modern, that's it. That's the modern style. So we're going to click OK. We're going to click OK. Boom. And there we go. You can see our style that we've had, that we added. And then we've got all the different other headings that were added as well. And that's a modern style. So let's look at the next question. 1.5.2 must insert a caption on the picture on page four and then update the table of figures. So let's go to our document. So there you can see our table of figures. Let's see it's WC1 and uh, so WC2 is missing. So I feel like it's going to be that one. So let's go scroll down. Now it's very difficult once you've got page numbers to get confused between this is page two there, but it's page three here. So let's just double check. So there you can see there's a caption there. 
And so here we're on page three here, but there's no caption on this one. There's no caption, but we're on page four here. So this, I think this is the one that we want. If I scroll, I see there's a caption there. And like they're all WC3 and all that. So, okay, so let's click on this one and you can insert a caption. You can right click and insert a caption, or you can just come here to inserting caption under references. So let's go insert a caption. And it says figure one. We want it to look like that WC. So I'm actually going to say, hey, let's make a new label. Um, we want it to be WC. Okay. Ah, and it does the two automatically. Okay, that worked very nicely for me. So WC, so it's two. And I'm going to insert it. Go OK. And there you can see the two has been added to this one. So they all WC1, 2. Uh, so I think that it's going to work. So let's go, scroll up here to the table of contents. I'm going to click on there on this table of contents. I'm going to right click and I'm going to update the field. And I want to update the entire table, not just the page numbers, because we've got a new one that wants to come in here. So let's try it. And Urethra, I mean, Rika, there we go. There you can see W2 has been added. Fantastic. So there we go. We got it working. So there we go. So that's done. 1.5.2. 1.6. Let's have a look at this one. Locate the text Corbella Corbini region located in yellow and add a footnote to it. So let's go, first of all, find it. Let's go. It's in yellow text. So, oh. There we go. There's the, the text. And now what do we want to do? We want to go and we want to insert a footnote. It must appear below the text. Um, insert the symbol, windings character. So the windings 406 or a new version code 70 and then add that website as the text. So we want that hand symbol, I think is the, the symbol that we want. Windings character 406. And the footnote must appear below text. Okay. So let's just do this part quickly. So remember, below text, it must be this windings character, 4, 6, or 70, and that's the text that must appear. So, okay, so let's have a look. So let's go to the, uh, so now I'm going to come here to references. That's where your footnotes are. Now it's very tempting to just insert the footnote, but if we do that, we're not going to have the option to change the properties and the symbols and stuff like that. So instead of clicking on insert footnote, I'm going to click on this little part here so that we can go to the properties and that. So I'm, I've selected, first of all, you know, so like I've selected the text that we want the footnote on and then I'm going to footnote. So we want to insert a footnote. Now, we often just see bottom of page now, but we want to below the text. So there we go. That's the one bit. And now we want to have a particular symbol. So I'm going to click on symbol. It's going to take me to symbol, but let's go to wingdings. I'm going to scroll oh, oh, all this scrolling down to wingdings. Nearly at W. Wing, wing, wingdings. I think it was wingdings one. Let's say wingdings. And we want number, now I think it was a, Zero zero four six. No, that's not what we want. The other one was a seventy. So I'm gonna type seventy in this character code here. Ah, oh, there we go. That, that's the one we want. Yes, and we're gonna say okay. We want that symbol. There we go. There we go. Okay, and so we want to insert it. And we're gonna go insert. Boop. And at the bottom here, we're gonna insert our text that we want to have. So I'm gonna come here. We want this www.wildcode.com. Be any. So we'll like, so do www. What was off of my memory's shot already? Wild Coast. Wildcoast.com slash Benny, I think it was. Eh? Did I spell it right? Hello, Ben is there. There we go. So there we go. So there we go. Now there we go. Okay. So there we go. Look. So there you can see the little icon there. It is below the text. Now I know it looks like it's at the bottom of the page, but if we double check our properties of this of this little footnote if we click on it you can see it does say below text okay so it does say below text um so there we go if you check on the hard seek you can see it puts a section break in there so that's what it does for the below text okay so there we go so there's our 1.6 now 1.7 we nearly there found the word transcar and replace it with former transcar now they just that's a Probably sure it's not just one word. We need to find a whole bunch of words. So let's go find. So I'm going to find. So let's click on find. Now this will come up on the side here. So if I type in transcar, let's for interest sake, let's just see how many transcar. There are five transcars. We want to replace all of them. So I'm going to come here to replace. So we want to replace the word transcar with former transcar. Okay, and they don't specify anything else. If there was any formatting that needed to be done, 
um, then you could have on make sure you select the one if they want to change only the ones with the word bold then you could click on that and you can go meet to more and you can go for find only the bold transcars change to form transcar or if you want to match the case or find only whole words and stuff like that then you can do that but they don't give me any specifications so let's go transfer uh, to replace all and there were five replacements done and so if I search for transcar now transcar you'll see that all of them are say former transcar there we go former transcar but there we go so there we go that's working boom then the next one let's go next one boom uh, locate the placeholder on page five so we're going to go to page five, five boom, boom, boom let's go down no yeah, there we go there's the placeholder on page five and we want to change it we want to change it to a website with the wild coast website name and www.wildcoast.com as the url so this is a reference so we can click on that little arrow and we can we don't want to edit the citation we want to actually edit the source so when we come here okay so first of all this needs to be a website so we're going to come up where's website there's website boom and they want me they they specify that the website the website with the wild coast is a website name so the website name so the name of website is wild coast well not wild coast wild coast and the url is www.wildcoast.com okay make sure that you get those specifications correct wild coast okay so put a space there between wild coast on the name there we go and we're going to click okay boom and there we go so there we, we've added that citation or we've modified it basically and then insert a hor there, there, four more marks let me done this question four marks insert a horizontal sh a scroll shape horizontal scroll shape and then we're going to add text to it and all that so let's go let's first find at the end of the document so let's go right to the end so we're going to come over here and we're going to insert a shape and we want a scroll so i'm going to scroll down excuse me to the scrolls there are the scrolls there's a scroll that's a vertical scroll and that's a horizontal scroll so i'm going to click on that one i'm going to ins there's my horizontal scroll and what do they want me to do they want me to insert the text for more it's found at the end of the so we want this text to be inside it so this text must be inside so you could actually just take this text and go hey we want to put this text inside this okay well, let me do this let's just select the text and i'm going to cut it and then i'm going to right click on my scroll my scroll and i'm going to add text and then i'm just going to paste that text in there fantastic okay so there we go there's the first thing that they wanted me to do change the shape style to a subtle or subtle <laughs> subtle effect blue accent one subtle so let's go okay so i'm going to click on the scroll and we're going to shape format now what could be well, this styles i think it might be something up here so let's have a look um, if i move my mouse over things it says there the different names is there a subtle one Ah, there we go. Subtle effects. Subtle effect blue accent one. That's the one we wanted. Is that the one we wanted? Subtle effect. Yes, we do. And we must remove the highlight. Oh, because we copied and pasted this text, we actually want to remove that highlighted color. So I'm going to select that text. We don't want that yellow anymore. And the highlight option over there is there. So we're going to change it. So it is yellow. We're going to change it to no color. So there we go. And is that it? Is, are we done this question? I think we've done. There's, there we go. 30 marks done. Well done, we've done all 30 marks, and so now we can move on to the next video for the next question, which will also be a word question, but a slightly smaller one, I think. For the other videos from this exam paper, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.